Hey Bettys, this is PJ Gatch, Senior Style and Beauty Editor at Betty Confidential. I'm chatting with Chandler Burr. He was the former fragrance critic of the New York Times and he has a position here at the Museum of Arts and Design in New York City and he is a curator with Open Sky. This man knows fragrance, right? I hope so. I want to ask you something speaking of fragrance. Mother's Day is coming up. One of the traditional gifts is get mommy perfume. Right. And people either do it by two ways. They get it, they try to get a perfume by personality or by price tag. Right. How do you get or purchase a, per, a, a perfume that fits someone? You, you just, you try and find it, I think, by quality. I don't think that you fit with a personality. Um, I don't think that that's, and we're talking about getting mom something she doesn't know you're getting her right. and you're not asking her. Look, if you go out and you smell it and you know what she's worn in the past and you know her style, it really is about getting quality, I think. And I think, unfortunately, it's about spending some money. Money doesn't guarantee it, but there are uh, beautiful raw materials that are used in really the top quality perfumes. I think that's got it's got to stay on the skin. You've got to wear it. You've got to try it. You got to get a sample. You got to wear it on two different days, and you got to put one on and put it on in the morning. You got to smell it. You, you l see how it performs, mm -hmm. how it diffuses on your skin, the structure of it. Does it fall apart? Or does it cohere beautifully, like a Swiss watch? That's what you got to look for. What is the most important quality of a perfume? Is it long wear? Is it a top note, base note? It's actually three, uh, four things. When I was at the Times, I, I gave or took away stars based on four different criteria. And one is the beauty of the scent. Is it innovative? Is it, is it, is it, is it quiet or is it loud? Does it speak? Does it have a voice? Does it, uh, uh, you know, do you, do you perceive just the, the way you perceive the smell? But there are three technical characteristics of it that are equally important. Does it last on skin? Because people buy stuff and it, it's gone in uh, 30, 30 minutes, 20 minutes. And you don't want to buy that. Okay. It's not worth it. Number two, does it diffuse? And this is a technical uh, 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 measure of the uh, uh, performance issue of the perfume. And it's very difficult to get. And a perfumer has to make it diffuse off the skin, you can't be this close away to smell it. Right. It's not a, a well-built perfume, well-designed perfume. But it also can't smell <laughs> across uh, the Time Warner Center. You've got to have something that that performs beautifully in the way that if you have music, you it has to have the right uh, volume and the right balance. So it's really composition. It's composition and design, absolutely. And then the other thing is structure, which I mentioned. I mean, it has to stay together. You can't have pieces of it falling off. You need to tell the the machine has to work every piece together during the entire uh, stay on your skin. That's cool. That's really cool. I noticed when you were moving your hands that there's a little bottle in yes. there. Would you tell us a little bit about there's it? There is a little bottle. This is my uh, this is our, our, our first and I'm very proud of this. This is a series for uh, Open Sky that I'm curating and this has never been done before. And I'm thrilled to be able to do it. This, this series of perfumes, they're untitled, they're, they're, they're untitled, and what we're doing is we're taking perfumes that are on the market that I think are terrific works of art, and I think that people should smell, I think people should own, and we're putting them in lab bottles. And there's a lab bottle, comes directly from the laboratory, and they are, we're doing a series of 100 of them, and they're gonna be introduced each month. And we're starting in May, so this is S01, E01, season one, our first year doing this, episode one, the first month we do it. And you're gonna get this and nothing else. There's no boy, there's no girl, there's no bottle or packaging, there's no brand, there's no name. So it's just a lab bottle. This is on the market. A lot of people seeing this right now have, have worn it, people wear it, it's beautiful, but smell it again with nothing, no prejudice, no label, and see what you think. This is one of the most extraordinary works of olfactory art in the past 10 years. It was done by an excellent scent artist and it was creative directed by one of the most important people in the, in, in the fashion industry, I'll say that. And uh, who's built a, uh, is, is a patron of the arts, a patron of the art uh, of olfactory art, has created a beautiful collection and this is one in this person's collection that I think should be purchased and, and worn and smelled. At the end of each month we're gonna do the reveal. Oh, that's I'll tell you what it is, and then we're going to have the 50 ml on the uh, on the site for sale. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I like that. That's really smart. This way, you're.
looking at something with an open mind, there's no preconceived notions. It's just the work of art as it's, as it's meant to be experienced. I like that because the problem is a lot of people, when they're buying fragrance, they're seduced by the bottle. They're yeah. seduced by the packaging. Yep. That's you, never, you never buy your second bottle based on the packaging. That's it's the smart. scent. All right. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I really appreciate you taking the time. My pleasure. Hey, babies. We'll see you soon. Take care.